The FixRx ground control station is built with the user in mind. User Interface On first powering up, the program will access the Internet to load maps for your planned flight region. To change the scale, rotate the mouse wheel. Holding down the left button, drag the map to adjust its position. Holding down the mouse wheel, move the mouse to adjust 3D visualization. The scale of the downloaded map area is shown at the bottom of the window. Let's take a look at the menu and the information widgets. First, the Cache tab. Area Cache refers to areas of the map saved on your computer, which makes it possible to view them without an internet connection. You can save any map region to cache before going to a work area. To create an area cache for the first time does require a stable internet connection. After you select the map area for caching by placing dots on the map, the total area and number of tiles it contains will appear on the screen. Cached areas will be automatically saved and loaded during the flight. Now, the Project tab. It's used to work with the software, create a new project, or open an existing one. This is required to build a flight mission. To save the created routes, click Save Project. The Planning tab. In this tab, you can create a flight mission. You can also view a list of created routes, plan a route from one point to the other, program aerial photography for long-range assets, specific points of interest, or a combination thereof. Landings can be either made automatically in any area where the vehicle is flying, or more specifically assigned by the user. The Flight tab. This tab is used to maintain an already created mission flight. To ensure that all the systems are ready for the flight, it's important to run a pre-flight check. After that, click the Start button. Fixar automatically takes off and starts its mission. During that flight, you can adjust the route, abort the mission, make an immediate landing, or immediately shut off power to the engines. These options are all meant to prevent accidents in case of unexpected emergencies. Fixar's position in space is displayed on the 3D map in real time. Information widgets in this tab allow the user to see real-time data including altitude, coordinates, air and ground speed, satellite navigation, telemetry parameters, and energy consumption data. Also, the user will see the cumulative distance flown, time in the air, a path point, and the distance from the start point. The Passports tab. Here, the user will find what we call the passports of all images that have been captured. Passports include information about the precise time and location for each captured image, as well as the tilt angles for each individual picture. After the mission is complete, click the Passports button to upload all the photo passports into a project file. You can quickly create a file with pictures and their passports, then send it to the post-processing application. After clicking on this button, specify paths to passports and photos, and choose a name for the binding file. In the Help tab, you'll find a list of the hotkeys, as well as information about the manufacturer. Settings tab. This tab will show you how much downloaded cache you have in the system. It will also let you access the flight logs, i.e. you can rerun previous missions, simulating any previous flight. You can also work in this tab to set the minimum altitude, the area range for the planned mission, and change languages.